So I'm just here beside the Napier Taupo Road and um, this is the turn off that leads into Clements Mill, Clements Mill Road. Um, it's a fair way in and I've camped there a couple of times before um, but there's just something in there that I want to go and check out today. So it'll be, yeah, just an in and out. Um, it'll take me a few hours nonetheless. Okay, so I'm just at Clements Mill Road now, just about to head into the forest. Narrow, winding gravel road for the next 17 kilometres. Um, and it is that, it's just a gravel road. So you don't really need four wheel drive, but I'm going to lock the hubs in and go in four high because it's just so much safer and more pleasant. I don't have to worry about it jumping around on me when I hit some washboards and stuff. So yeah, come along for the ride. little um, sidetrack up here um, this heads up to a, a quarry with a good view I think so I'm gonna wander up there and have a bit of a look um, it's been a while since I've been up there so I don't know what the state of the tracks gonna be like I'm just mucking around with cameras and stuff. <laughs> cool. So that's an interesting angle to park on. Um, I just wanted to get out and have a bit of a look at what I was doing. I'm going to back up and take a different line. 
But yeah, this track is a bit more serious than when I was here last. Holy heck, that's a bit of an angle, and I'm not really too fond of it. Um, all I'm going to be able to do is keep backing it down. Yeah, that's a good effort. <laughs> um, heck. She'll be right. That's horribly uncomfortable. Um, I don't like how teetery it is, so this is, I'm gonna back down. <laughs> back down before I put it on its side, I think. Well, I gave it a red hot go, but yeah. So I've actually had the Subaru up that track where it was stock standard on road tyres, but this was about five years ago, and it doesn't look like it's had any maintenance since then. So yeah, if I pushed it any further, I would have, might have rolled it. I was coming pretty close to rolling as it is when it was dropping a wheel in that bottom hole. So ah. It was fun anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna head down the road a bit more and see what I can find. So right here beside the track is what I've come to see. These are the Kaimanawa rock formations, also known as the Kaimanawa wall. So they're somewhat controversial because some say that they've been naturally formed like this and others say that they are man-made. I'll let you decide that for yourselves. But it's all it does look very uniform in the sense that it goes back quite a long way. And you can see flat surfaces in there. Over this side it looks a little bit more haphazard and more naturally formed. So whether it's natural or man-made, I'll let you decide on that one. Um, it's be pretty easy to believe either way, but, um, being really old and man-made and exposed to the elements, or just naturally formed and somehow surprisingly symmetrical. But yeah, who knows? The official version is that they're naturally formed ignimbrite rocks uh, and about 330,000 years old, I believe. Anyway, I'm going to carry on down the road. Um, I think there's still a fair bit of it. Um, and just see if there's any new caches down that way. And just check out the campsites. So this is the end of the road. Quite literally. Um, nice drive on in here. It's um, an easy drive. As you can tell by the Corolla. But, um... There's a geocache over here that I'm going to go and have a look for. Oh, look at this. The geocache is near it somewhere. Hey, found the geocache. Um, it was a pretty easy find. There's um, been quite a few 
accidental finds on it too, but it's still there and still in good nick, so. Hmm, I'll put a comment on my log. Cool spot in here. Well, that's about all I had planned for in here at Clements Mill Road. So I'm going to head back out and into Taupo. So this is the main um, Clements clearing campsite um, at what was originally the Clements Sawmill, which is what the road's named after, Clements Mill Road. Um, it's the best sun if you're going to be camping, but it is also probably the biggest and busiest campsite along here. So I'm just going to have a bit of a break for a bit and then head on into Taupo. Um, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. There's about an hour of daylight left. It's pretty early for me to stop for the day. And I was planning on doing a few, well, visiting my grandma in Taupo and getting a little bit further north tonight. But what the heck? I'm going to stay here, I think. So for tonight, this is going to be me. Totally unexpected, wasn't part of my plan, but then I never really have too much of a plan, just for reasons like this, get to somewhere and go, ah. Change of plans again, I'm actually going to move to a different campsite, um, just up the road. This one's already pretty busy, there's a couple of people camped over the other side there that are just watching every dang thing I do, and I... I no, I don't like it, so I'm going to pop up to another campsite that I've used before um, and I'm going to stay there. I didn't stop in on the way past because I was never intending on staying in here, but hey. Alright, this is more like it. Um, there's a few other spots to camp here, um, but at this stage I'm the only one. There's even a long drop. But yeah, I don't know, I'm too much of a hermit to be in that busy campground. It's going to be a cold one tonight. It's probably not going to be much difference here than over in the clearing. If anything, there's probably going to be more of a frost in the clearing. So, yeah. See, you can, <laughs> that's how cold it is already. However, there is another benefit about being right here. And that bonus is fire. If I can keep the thing alight. <laughs> so many places you're not allowed to have fire that I'm not very well practiced. And I couldn't help but thinking about this when I was lying in bed last night. And I um, thought that there might be a different line I can take that might make this possible. So I'm just going to give it one crack. And if it doesn't work, well, it doesn't work then. So let's see. Quite as awful as it was yesterday. Um, that back comes up. <sighs> Let's try to get it across a little.
I'm really close. Really freaking close. Okay, time for the secret weapon. If we can't do this, then I don't have much hope, I don't think. And one more try. I've said this heaps of times already. So against all odds, we made it, the van and I. We are here up at the quarry. Um, and there's a lot of cloud and fog and there's absolutely no view. So nothing to do but to turn around and head on back down. But ah, I wasn't to be de defeated.
Well, I'm back down. Most people would say I'm mad doing something like that in a van so far from home, <laughs> out in the middle of the bush. Um, and they're probably right. That was fun. I'm glad I made it up to the quarry. It was a, a pointless exercise other than seeing what the van could do and having a bit of fun and I am impressed. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's debatable whether I should have or not, but hey, nothing went wrong and I had a bit of fun, so there we go. Anyway, time to unlock the hubs, put it back into two and head on into town. And thanks again for watching. I'll catch you next time.